Good morning, everybody. It is uh, my pleasure to welcome you here to Lisbon and act uh, as uh, director of the uh, DGPM, or on behalf of him, to welcome you here to this uh, great city, this uh, great event, uh, great weather. And uh, I hope you're all going to enjoy this uh, open consultation, uh, uh, open market consultation day. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, we will both. Uh, leave uh, wiser than uh, we came and uh, with uh, all uh, the necessary um, uh, assertions that uh, this is going to be a very successful day at the end of the day. So welcome again and uh, with no further ado I would like to uh, go on and describe what uh, Marino is all about and uh, what this uh, open <coughs> uh, consultation, market consultation uh, day is all about and what we expect uh, from it uh, and uh, what uh, we expect uh, from uh, uh, the industry that uh, has been invited to participate. So, Marino is the first uh, earth observation pre-commercial procurement, pre procurement project uh, that has teamed up uh, uh, five maritime uh, authorities uh, which form the buyers group uh, and a group of four scientific and technical organizations with significant expertise and competence uh, in earth observation and maritime uh, matters. Uh, in order to uh, procure the necessary R&D for new innovative downstream earth observation and uh, Copernican enabled uh, services for integrated maritime environment, uh, surveillance uh, and uh, security towards a very concrete and specific public sector need. Uh, the project started the first uh, of the, uh, the month of the, this year and uh, will run for 47 months. Uh, uh, and uh, the phases of this uh, 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 project uh, will be uh, detailed later on in the presentation from uh, uh, my colleague. Uh, this is the uh, Marino Consortium. The project coordination is the National Center of Scientific Research uh, uh, Democritus. Uh, the lead procurer is uh, DGPM, the Director General uh, for Maritime Policy from uh, uh, Portugal. And uh, the other four public procurers are the Guardia Civil from uh, Spain, the Hellenic Center for Maritime uh, Research, obviously from Greece, from Hellas, uh, the FRCT, the Fundo Regional para Sendia e Tecnologia from uh, the Azores, and uh, the Norwegian Coastal Administration, obviously from Norway. And uh, the technical group is uh, complemented by uh, the National Observatory of Athens in Greece, the European Union Satellite Center from Spain, and the Sintef Ocean from uh, Norway as well. So there is a fairly good uh, geographical spread, and uh, I believe that uh, the consortium represents uh, uh, the needs and uh, requirements from uh, wide maritime community. Uh, allow me to abuse my time and give you a little bit of uh, a presentation of uh, the National Center for Scientific Research Democritus, who we are, in other words, as a coordinator. So since we are going to be dealing with us uh, uh, throughout this project, uh, uh, probably it's good uh, to know that uh, we are the largest uh, uh, public funded uh, research organization uh, in uh, Greece uh, uh, and we span research uh, in uh, a wide uh, range and variety of scientific fields from basic research to engineering, uh, informatics uh, and telecommunications. Uh, uh, we are made up of five different institutes uh, that uh, specialize in different uh, uh, these different disciplines, uh, one of them being uh, the Institute of Informatics and Telecommunications, uh, which uh, I happen to be the director, and uh, which is uh, 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 probably uh, the largest uh, uh, institute in terms uh, of uh, attracting uh, funding from competitive projects. Uh, uh, just uh, as an example, from its operational budget, which amount around 12 million euro the year, uh, only 7.9% comes from national funding, the rest is from competitive projects. 
And uh, this uh, particular project uh, is coordinated by the Integrated Systems Laboratory and uh, one of the uh, laboratories of the informatics on the uh, Institute of Information and Telecommunication. Okay, uh, there has been an announcement of this uh, open market consultation uh, day through a prior information notice that uh, was published in the tender of electronic uh, uh, daily on May 5th, 2017, and uh, you should all probably know about that since you are here. So this is just the formality and formal information. The question is why to attend this uh, uh, Marino open uh, market consultation? Uh, we consider this to be a great opportunity for the suppliers to be informed about uh, the PCP challenge. Uh, probably by now, a lot of you uh, know what uh, this instrument is uh, when it was first uh, uh, showed up in the uh, European uh, Union uh, funded project arsenal. Uh, it was a, a little bit of an exotic uh, uh, concept, but uh, as uh, time passes by, it becomes uh, more and more mainstream, uh, and as success uh, of this uh, instrument uh, is being uh, uh, verified by different uh, uh, projects. Uh, so the first aspect is the information about this uh, PCP challenge, uh, learn about, uh, mo uh, more about the project and uh, the PCP process. Uh, that, uh, uh, is going to follow, take part in interesting discussions uh, with uh, project participants, uh, uh, comment about the intended uh, R&D scope, uh, uh, and share thoughts about uh, the PCP challenge and the tender procurement. And finally, provide uh, uh, feedback, no, in other words, the industry provide feedback uh, through the RFI questionnaire to fine-tune the tender specifications. Uh, and uh, this is uh, extremely important and uh, we look forward to this feedback in order to make uh, this uh, project uh, uh, as, uh, uh, as much of a success as possible and provide the necessary innovation that uh, is required by a PCP. PCP is not just a procurement, but a procurement with uh, uh, the, an element of uh, research and innovation building. And uh, finally, we'd like to uh, let you know from the onset that, uh, uh, because we'll be dealing with the huge uh, amounts of data that uh, uh, extremely, extremely will pay attention to uh, the data warehousing uh, requirements for this, for the implementation of the services that uh, will be described later on. Okay, uh, what are the expected uh, outcomes from this uh, OMC? You have them listed uh, there. I'm just going to go through briefly. Allow the consortium to gain better insights on the market, such uh, as the state of the art technology. So your feedback during this uh, OMC is uh, uh, very important, uh, and uh, don't be shy to give it to us. Uh, uh, either in public or through the various communication channels uh, uh, through the uh, um, different social media and as well as uh, in private discussions uh, to allow the suppliers to give feedback on what technologies you think we should be included in Marino, which probably we are not uh, aware of as a consortium, allow the suppliers to advise the consortium where they see the biggest technical challenges, uh, because uh, as you see later on, uh, the demands that uh, will impose on you are uh, fairly uh, tenuous, and uh, you have to identify uh, what's feasible, where the challenges are, so that uh, at the end of the day, we calibrate uh, the um, the tender, and uh, what more information should be shared in order to make uh, uh, the scope of this uh, challenge clearer. Uh, finally, the results of this consultation will be fully documented. Uh, this uh, event is uh, uh, video streamed uh, live now, and uh, will be available on the Marino site, and will be taken into account in order to detail the tender specification. Uh, why do you go through this uh, innovation uh, procurement? Uh, 
Well, first of all, because it's a win-win situation, or we consider it to be a win-win situation for the public uh, sector in uh, Europe, uh, an instrument through which the modernization of the public services uh, uh, and uh, improvement of uh, the quality and efficiency of public services uh, uh, will be uh, tackled uh, and uh, they will address uh, societal changes uh, with uh, innovative breakthrough solutions uh, for the benefit of the citizens. Uh, uh, there is a, a smart use of the procurement budget uh, to remove supplies lock-in. In other words, uh, uh, to prevent uh, fitting uh, the uh, problem into the solution and uh, rather produce innov innovative solutions that uh, fit uh, the problem and obtain much uh, open standard, uh, standardized and better value for money solutions in a cost-effective uh, manner. Uh, in uh, times of uh, economic distress, innovation procurement can boost innovation uh, in uh, a country, a region, uh, without uh, extra funds, uh, only by shifting existing procurement uh, budget towards uh, R&D and innovation. Uh, obviously, you cannot do that for 100% of the budget, but uh, uh, you can shift part of the budget to uh, foster the innovation. Then uh, uh, this uh, instrument can benefit uh, the local economy support the, and by supporting economic activity in sectors uh, related to the innovative solutions uh, uh, purchased or developed. Uh, and uh, can create the growth uh, and jobs in uh, Europe by uh, making sure that uh, uh, a big part of the work uh, that is required in uh, the PCP uh, will be done in, uh, within Europe uh, by European uh, companies, by SMEs, uh, led by uh, big industry, but uh, uh, they will foster innovation and uh, uh, creation of uh, jobs within Europe. Now, uh, this was from the side of uh, the public sector. What about the private sector? What is in for the private sector? Well, again, we consider this to be a win-win situation for the private sector uh, because uh, <clears throat> uh, we leverage the power of the public uh, uh, pursuit that can open uh, market and sale opportunities for innovative uh, companies in uh, Europe, uh, which uh, otherwise could be faced uh, by a, a big uh, a financial barrier uh, to enter this market, uh, which somehow is uh, in uh, the uh, entry uh, barrier uh, for those uh, companies, since uh, the innovation and the R&D is a part of the procurement, uh, the funding of it. Uh, uh, the public uh, sector can act uh, uh, as uh, uh, a launcher customer to help startups in Europe to scale up and finally go to the market. So uh, I have to keep in mind that this is uh, uh, a pre-market exercise, so there is a, a marketing cap uh, follow-up phase that uh, is uh, required and it's closely watched uh, by the European Commission uh, in order to declare uh, success of this uh, type of an instrument. Uh, and uh, finally, <coughs> uh, there, there is a demand-driven uh, innovation that is generated through this procurement that helps shortening the time to market uh, uh, for uh, innovative uh, product services. And uh, finally, the whole concept uh, is uh, uh, in uh, concert uh, with the Scale Up Europe manifesto that uh, calls uh, on the member states to open public procurement uh, by supporting more innovation and allocating uh, uh, part of their annual procurement budget, 3% uh, to pre-commercial procurement and 20% to, uh, to public procurement of innovative solutions. So all in all, it cons we consider this uh, uh, instrument and this opportunity of the PCP uh, to be a win-win situation both uh, for uh, the buyer side and uh, the industry side. So in concert to create the necessary innovation uh, for providing the services uh, required, the innovative services required by uh, the buyers group. So, um, the, throughout this uh, consultation, uh, uh, 
please uh, do not forget uh, to send uh, your questions, uh, comments, and remarks because uh, this uh, day is uh, a two-way street. Uh, we need your feedback as much as uh, you need uh, information from us uh, in order to shape up the best possible uh, tender that will meet uh, the demand uh, of uh, the buyers uh, but also uh, and expectations, but also uh, uh, attract the best uh, possible solutions from uh, the industry. So, uh, the best way to communicate uh, your questions, comments and remarks uh, is uh, uh, by using, uh, uh, by going to the Twitter, Twitter and use uh, the hashtag Marine uh, EOPCP and uh, send us uh, information. We are live uh, uh, connected uh, uh, with the Twitter. We'll get your comments, uh, your uh, questions, etc., and we'll try to deal with them and address them uh, uh, as soon as uh, uh, you ask them or during the Q&A session. So, uh, with no further ado, I would like to pass the podium back to Altis to continue with, uh, uh, with the event. Thank you very much.